Hello, Mizzou fans. Darren Weidick with the Tiger Club of Kansas City. We're here with Blair Kirkhoff from the Kansas City Star, making his annual trek to talk to the Tiger Club. Um, didn't get to Frankfurt, but you got Athens last right. week. Took pretty close. So, what, what's your what's your report from there? Loved it. Loved the uh, the atmosphere. I had not been to a game at Georgia. I've been to basketball games, but my first football game there, I was. The atmosphere was fantastic. And it was made fantastic because of the game, the quality of the game. Missouri went toe to toe with the nation's top ranked team. They're not the top team in the, in the football, uh, college football rankings, but in AP and the coaches' poll, Georgia's the number one team. I got to vote. I vote them number one. I think they're the best team in the country. And Missouri went toe to toe with them. I, I was so impressed with Missouri on uh, their offensive line, their defensive line. Darius Robinson, what a stud that guy is. So if I'm Missouri, uh, follower, I'm feeling good about where this program is. I feel sad about what happened Saturday, but I feel good about the direction of the program, where things stand, and now carried into Saturday, beat Tennessee, uh, and maybe have a ten and two season. Yeah, a ten and two is certainly on the table, and maybe a New Year's Six Bowl. So maybe not much more you could have asked for at the beginning of the season than than standing right here for a for a program that was picked to finish sixth in the division. Um, no, no, this if, if they pull this off, listen, I had them winning seven in in the preseason, and so I thought they would be better than most, and now they've exceeded my expectations. Brady Cook has played so well this year. Their defense is one of the best in the SEC. Um, Mevis, <laughs> what a kicker! You know they, they've got all the elements, so that's why they're seven and two. And in the, they lose a game and fall two spots in the polls. It's it's great to see them in the polls, and here's hoping they can stay there the rest of the season. Then over to basketball. Basketball tips off last night, and what do you think? Top four in the SEC for Mizzou this year. What do you think? Well, that would be a repeat, right? They finished fourth last year for the first time as a, as an SEC program. Uh, off to a good start. A lot of turnover, but I think that's the case with just about everybody in college basketball with the transfer rules. There's a lot of turnover everywhere, but in you know in Nick Honor and uh, and Sean East, um, they, they've got some returning players that I think you can build around. I like who they I like who Dennis Gates got in the in the transfer portal, and really interested to see Vanover, uh, the seven five kid. Let's see what he's about. At, you talked about a dynamic coach in Dennis Gates, who was hired by a dynamic athletic director in Desiree Reed Francois. We talked about her today, really doing a really good job in Columbia. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what you can, what else you can say about her. Uh, she has been outstanding for somebody that I don't think Missouri fans knew too much about when she was hired, and uh, for her to have the uh, the coaching decisions that she has made in terms of contract extensions, et cetera. Uh, some of the other kind of off the court, off the field moves that she has made. No, I think she's done a terrific job and Missouri should feel fortunate that she's the athletic director. Absolutely, we do. Blair, 20 years of coming to the Tiger Club. <laughs> Thanks for that. coming today. Thanks for covering the Tigers in Athens and look forward to Vahe being in Columbia this week. Sounds good. Tiger fans, next week we will have Tiger All-American Chase Kaufman here at the Westport Flea Market. We'll see you next week.